The legend of the Red Rocks is as old as time. It reveals itself through the beauty of nature, through the soul of the people who are fortunate enough to call it home. Welcome to the land of my father's father. Over 300 million years ago, before my people walked the mother earth, she gave birth to what would one day be known as Sedona. Once, mighty seas swept the area, leaving limestone upon which layers of red rock would build over eons. Forces of nature are capricious, and eventually, rivers give way to desert. Volcanoes would shout to the heavens, making what people of science today call the Colorado Plateau. Was this panorama merely a creation of happenstance or that of a greater power? One of the most amazing spots on the face of the earth, the red rocks, the expanse, the startling beauty that is Sedona. It is the art of God. A place ancients say, once you experience, it stays in your heart forever.
But what of this place in the desert where climate, natural shelter, and nature's bounty came together to sustain life? Over time, it would be home to tribes known as the Hohokam, the Sinawa, the Hopi, the Apache, and the Yavapai. My people sprang forth from the center of Montezuma's well, a magical lake that touches the sky above and reaches into the center of the earth. What was once the ways of the ancients will soon be forgotten if we don't take the time to pass on the legends to our young ones. They say that corn grew forth from the heart of a fallen chieftain as he lay buried. It nourished our people and blessed them with a home among the red rocks, Palat Kuapi. Civilization flourished in a variety of locations such as Tuzigut, Montezuma's Well, Palatki, Honanki. But then, as suddenly as they had appeared, they vanished, leaving only the mysterious traces you see here. What were they trying to tell us? To document their existence? To boast of a hunt? To tell those who follow to take care of their home and it would continue to provide for those in need? We may never know. Where the forebears of my people went, those known as the Hohokam, the Forgotten Ones, and the Sanawa, those without water, no one knows. But what first drew my people to the area 10,000 years ago and attracted many still remains a lure today. First came the Spaniards, in pursuit of silver, gold, and turquoise for their king. They too left their mark. Then came the mountain men, for a bounty of furs and game. Prospectors also came in pursuit of silver and gold. Word of riches spread, drawing homesteaders and cowboys from across the land. Provided. The workers came and families grew, and boom towns seemed to spring up overnight, like Jerome, 
whose mountains would yield over a billion dollars worth of copper and other minerals. Nearby, a land of rich soils, well suited for growing sweet fruit, would blossom forth with life and become this jewel of the Southwest, known as Sedona. Sedona. Many people ask about the beautiful name, assuming it to be of Indian origin. Not so. I'm Lisa Schneble Heidinger, and I'll tell you the story. My great-grandfather was T.C. Schneble, who opened the first post office in town. T.C. was told the name Oak Creek Crossing was too long for a cancellation stamp. So when the town was born, it was named for my great-grandmother, Sedona. My great-grandparents moved to this area around the turn of the century. They brought their small son, Ellsworth, and little daughter, Pearl. Their home also served as the first hotel. One afternoon, Sedona was out riding with her children, and Pearl saw an arrowhead. As she reached for it, her pony panicked and bolted, dragging the little body back to the corral. Sedona grew so despondent that her doctor told T.C. if he didn't take her away from this place, he would lose her. But they came back to Oak Creek Canyon and spent the last years of their lives here. Some people say that they can still feel her presence around Sedona. Maybe her spirit is here, looking after little children. More and more settlers moved to Sedona, each contributing to its rich heritage. Families like the Thompsons, Van Derens, Schneblies, Jordans, and Purtimans are legendary. Camp Verde offered the security of a cavalry outpost and a touch of the sophistication these daring settlers left behind in cities back east. Today, modern man has continued to leave his mark on the area. As locomotives pushed their way west, they provided a vital lifeline of the finer things in life.
But what of this region that changes with the seasons, yet remains timeless? This land of contrasts, of red rocks and pines, of snow-dusted escarpments, is a year-round lure, offering those who visit her an always changing palette of inspiring vistas. Outdoor enthusiasts are never at a loss for things to do. There are plenty of ways to enjoy the great outdoors. There are as many ways to see the red rocks as there are formations. Enjoy this view of Sedona. For the not faint of heart, Jeep tours provide a thrill you'll never forget. I'll let you check it out. Oh, pretty good view, huh? Slide Rock provides a refreshing respite from the summer sun. This natural amusement park has been a cooling off spot for centuries. When seen from the air, the formations of these crimson spires become all the more awe-inspiring. One can envision the mighty waters that once sculpted this now arid land.
the early settlers really used their imagination in naming some of the red rock formations in this area. This is Cathedral Rock, and you can see the reason why, right? There's also Bell Rock, Courthouse Rock, Steamboat Rock, Merry Go Round on Schnebly Hill, Coffee Pot Rock, and Snoopy. While Snoopy may be the top dog in altitude, the title for attitude goes to the coyote, but a veritable menagerie of desert creatures calls Sedona home. A place where throughout the seasons, nature provides. While it is still a small town, Sedona has much to offer visitors from the big cities, like shopping for art, clothing, and jewelry that is uniquely Sedona. see skilled hands at work. Sedona is a place for all generations to rediscover the rich heritage of our past. As my people have for centuries, many believe there is a mystical lure to the area unlike any other. A place with natural power spots where spiritual energy is released from deep within Mother Earth.
whether sculpted by the hand of a greater power or man-made, one thing is certain. We will continue to be drawn by the beauty of the red rocks. And now that you are here, she will work her magic to become part of your life too. Your Sedona. If we look at the path, we do not see the sky. We are Earth people on a spiritual journey to the stars. Our quest, our Earth walk, is to look within, to know who we are, to see that we are connected to all things, that there is no separation, only in the mind. 